Tough love spiritualist. Let's see what energy is in for you today. Random read, okay? This is if you got someone on your mind, all zodiac signs. I want to welcome you to the channel at Journey with Spirit Tarot LLC. New subbies and existing subbies. Follow, like, share. I want to thank y'all guys for the thumbs up, the thumbs down. If I ruffle your feathers, you can find another place to be. A lot of content creators here. You're not stopping the thing, okay? Now, if you want a reading, information to reach me is in the about section. Let's see what's going on. This is all zodiac signs, men or women, if you're watching me. So let's see what's going on here. This masculine knows that they need to put in teamwork with you, but they did not, or they're not currently, okay? This person's needing teamwork. This person has vulnerability issues. You and this person, y'all trigger each other, okay? Someone's dealing with rejection. You haven't heard from someone in probably a week to maybe six, four, anywhere from a week to six weeks. This person, you're not this person's one. They're your one to you. You're not the one to them, my love. See? You want this desire. You're desiring someone or they're desiring you. But again, you're either not their one or they're not your one. Someone's dealing with someone who's rejected them. Ooh, y'all better buckle up. It's cuffing season. See, someone's in their head. All, just thinking about what was, what was, what was. But you need to see for what it is. Some of y'all are dealing with people who like the convenient connection of consistency. But they did not want commitment with you, my dears. Men or women. Kings, know your words. Some of y'all are dealing with uh, little girls and grown women bodies who want a surrogate daddy. Right? And some of y'all are dealing with men who are uh, little boys and uh, grown man bodies who need a surrogate mommy. And oh my God, if someone's not giving them some attention the way that they thought, let the temper tantrum erupt. Let the desperation, clingy, possessive, anger, retaliation, looking at your phone all the time, getting readings, let that start. Ooh, this cuffing season, know your self-worth, you guys. All right. Tarot energy, I show someone is discontent with the cup of love that was been offered. Okay. Failing to recognize the magical opportunity and missing the point. The distractions of daily life, discontent and bored, lost in your own world. Y'all dealing with people that are de dealing with y'all out of boredom. And they are offering you all the bare minimum. And I feel that you all haven't set a set of standards or it was just, oh, we'll go with the flow. You took whatever. So now you're putting your boundaries up too little, too late, or someone has put their boundaries up with you. Yep. You're dealing with someone who's operating in their ego and pride collective. Okay. There's not that emotional connection here. Self-serving energy for whoever you're dealing with. It looks like some emotions have gotten manipulated one way or the other. Someone is detaching their energy. They're no longer investing where you're seeing it and they're confused. Someone has pulled their energy back because the energy is off-putting here. To a feminine here, if you're watching me, there's a masculine to you or, or a man watching me. Either a woman has pulled their energy back from you or ladies, a king has pulled their energy back from you. You want more than what they're willing to give. You may have it to give. They don't. And it triggers them. This is why the connection is not growing and y'all feel like it's upside down. If you continue to spend your time with whatever this is, you're just going to waste your own time and become more insecure. The person you're dealing with is so operating in their pride, they don't need the emotional fulfillment, connection, gratification that you do. They don't feel things how you're feeling collective. Um, and also, I also show here, this is dealing out of the untold truth of the heart this is someone that's in an overly masculine energy whether you are a masculine feminine or a feminine masculine that is watching um this is what i'm showing at the end of the day whoever the dominant masculine energy is okay the one who you are wanting the one that is the one that's the chaser the one that's emotionally disconnected this is just an illusion that gave you smoke and dreams again emotional manipulation okay you will be better off without this person in your energy. But you have to realize it. Because this person didn't make any, they didn't make you. They didn't make your happiness. They don't, they didn't make, it's not that, oh my God, this person's not out of my life. What is my life going to be? Like, queen, king? No, um, it's going to be like, what, before you met them or better? Um, you're just not it, right? 
Um, and they're not it for you if you realize what it is that you really want. And if you think that that's what you're worth and what they've shown you, then fine. But stop proving yourself so much. A lot of you guys are proving yourselves to someone that's not even proving themselves to you and they see it and it's turning them off. It's funny, yet they're enjoying it. And then once they have their feel, they're like, oh, OK, thanks. No, I don't feel the same way as you. Bye. Right. But don't be mad at them because you're a willing participant and you don't really know who you've been dealing with for six months, three months, nine months, because, oh, there was a connection. I wouldn't think that he would ever really. All you got to do is look in the news, kings and queens. If celebrities who are million and billionaires are getting cheating on, what makes you think that someone, oh, Joe Blow from work across the street off the Internet isn't going to cheat on you? Come on, now. It's all about your worth. It's not how you look. It's about the energy that you carry and the energy that you allow and the energy that you put up with. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how long you've been with someone. If you've just shown them what you're willing to accept and treat and how high your emotional pain tolerance is. And a lot of you all are dealing with people that are with you out of boredom. They are like this with you all the time. And here you are offering them this cup. Well, well I, when am I going to hear from you? Do you when, when, when do you want to see me? A lot of you all, y'all are in pursuing energies and don't realize it. Y'all are over here giving men money, paying for trips. How can I build this man up? How can I heal him? How can I? And he like this. Yes, he don't see the problem. And you're getting on their nerves because you have all this love to give and you with someone who doesn't even see it or realize it. They just like how good your energy is, but they're not. They don't want this good, good energy and love. They're not at the point yet, but some of y'all don't feel it. And y'all thinking, oh, my God, now y'all getting in the energy just like this person. And they're creating a little mini me. So when they get done with you, they're going to leave you just as broken as they are when you met them. And you're going to be on the hunt just like they are now and afraid to let anyone get close to you. And that's what I show today, y'all. Y'all be easy this cuffing season because the readings that I've been getting, y'all, um, just don't, please, don't let someone or a situation take your peace of mind. It's just a human being, right? Like, I'm here for you. If you need me, if I vibe with you, um, y'all be blessed. Tough love, spiritualist. Thank y'all for the engagement. Bye.